All right, so here we go again. We got this again, another unit. This particular unit was $410, I think is what I bet on it. Um, but we got something new, something exciting. We got ourselves another trailer. So it's been raining here so much lately that Every time I went to a unit, I kept getting wet, kept getting wet, kept getting wet. And I've got a big old gigantic trailer, but with the Jeep, it was kind of hard to move. So went ahead and got ourselves a little tiny trailer, but just so you can kind of see. It'll keep it nice and dry. And, uh, you know, six by, uh, I think it's six by 12. So, all right, so we got basically this unit here. Not entirely sure what's in the unit. There's a couple of things that I noticed. Um, the unit is pretty much packed to the max. I don't know if the door is going to stay. Look at that. It's not staying. Stay. Stay. All right. It stayed finally. But anyways, so this particular unit got, has all kinds of stuff. I don't even think we're going to be able to fit it all in the trailer, but let's do the customary. Cue to see, cue to the music. So, like I said, 400 bucks. You know, we'll see what we basically find in here. I think the reason the price went up on this unit is, um, I think these right here, but if you look closer, they're empty. So I think that that's why the price went up. I think a lot of people bid on them thinking that it was, uh, you know, that they were gonna be there, but they weren't, so. All right, so we're gonna get started. We're gonna start uh, taking some stuff out. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make a little table around here. I'm going to use some of these pails, put them here, and basically we'll start going box by box. So let me get that set up and we'll go from there. See you in a bit. All right, so a little makeshift area, you know what I'm saying? So we're going to start out. We're going to grab this box right here and we're going to go through it and we're going to see what's in it. All right, particular box on the top says glass. So could be anything. First things first, we've got a uh, Wizard of Oz in a box. Still tired of styrofoam, so Let's see what's in it. That's kind of neat. Is that salt and pepper shakers, maybe? Pretty interesting though. Alright, so in here else we have some kind of cookie jar, Disney and paper. I think that's probably this right here. Wizard of Oz cups. So maybe it was Wizard of Oz, not Disney. But that's kind of nice. That's always something that you know you can put on eBay or you know, donate some funds and get some stuff going. Do one more, one more, and then we'll move on to another box. Another Wizard of Oz cup dishwasher set. So this looks like it's a uh, Wizard of Oz box basically. So that's kind of cool. It's good to see that the first box is going to be collectible stuff. So 
we'll get that in the trailer and we'll come back for the next box all right so going on to the next box we're gonna go this one right here all right this one's a little bit lighter so Jars. Jordan Mark, some, some kind of photo box. That's kind of what it looks like. Brand new in the box. The other thing that we have in here is a snowman cookie jar. Sears. Worst case scenario, we'll have to sit on it until November when Christmas comes. And then there's a little tiny baby package here. I'm not sure what that is, but let's put it back. Alright, so we got two boxes down. So when I bid on this unit, I was thinking that it was gonna have collectible stuff because usually when you see the pop heads, you know, it basically means that they're into collecting something. So, that's why I bet on this unit. I mean, I might have overpaid, but I guess that remains to be seen. You couldn't really see the back of the unit, so don't really know what's in the back, but um, this here says miscellaneous storage bedroom. So, in here we've got some kind of a... This looks like pictures. Some personal stuff. Looks like a book and some kind of a cup. So it just looks mostly like personal miscellaneous items. Not necessarily anything that I think most of us care about watching. Really digging this trailer. It'll be nice to be able to take stuff without getting caught in the rain. <laughs> All right, so we got next box. This just says miscellaneous, so it could be anything. First box, we open it up. There's a license plate. There's a bucket, just has some random things in it. box puppet from Mexico bedroom puppet from Mexico it's pretty neat So basically four boxes in, I think some of that uh, Wizard of Oz stuff might have some value and I'm going to have to look that up. I'm not really entirely sure. Um, might give us, you know, I'm, I'm guessing maybe 40, 50 bucks when it's all said and done between all the cups and the cookie jar and all that. So yeah, still a little short of where we started, but so there's another box here, just has another box inside of it. 
this was like a knickknack box that was upside down on it. So everything fell out. So we've got a fortune cookie box. Star Wars. It's pretty neat. Some kind of beads and a dog collar. Here's a watch. I don't think it's collectible, but a little pen, a little monkey, a little cruiser dude. this little box has a graduation cap Nixon's the one we got some of these uh, presidential ones last couple units well for sure the pod unit there's a nothing else in here. I mean, it just looks like just little loose odds and ends. So we're gonna put that there and that there, and we're gonna move this to the side. I think this box is empty, so we're gonna move that to the side. I don't mind finding empty boxes. They're easy to move, and I can reuse them for shipping, which there's some right there. All right, next box, we got this one here. It says fragile. Or fragile. Star Wars. It's a VHS rewinder. That'll go good on eBay. VHS player. I sell those fairly consistent, usually 20, 30 bucks, um, sometimes 40, 50, just depending on the brand. Um, VHS units tend to go fairly well on eBay. All right. Next box. It says Mrs. Potts, Vase of Flowers, and Jocker. What is a Jocker? Some kind of vase. Oh, that's pretty neat. The Disney vase. All right, we're gonna keep going now. Found this one right here. We're going to open it up, see what's in it. Seeing the cable's always good. Some kind of rug with a USB nut on it. So maybe a Dance Dance Revolution. Let's get it out. I hear Edward out there going, please let it be a Dance Dance Revolution. Uh, there you go. Konami, show me your moves. Move that to the side. And we've got Christmas stuff. Jack Sparrow. And some more candy canes. So, weird place for a mat to be, but we're going to put the Christmas tree in here too.
night. Next crate in. And we'll grab the next crate here. Stuffies. That should be worth a penny. Gumby. Oh, well, pretty good ones. We'll go through them more in detail later, but. And they're all in pretty good condition. Should be able to get at least $20 for this bucket. Next one, move this stuff out the way. This one's heavy. It's all messed up too, but we'll see what's in here. We got some comics. Jedi number one. Number two, number three, four, five, number one, Old Republic. So a couple little comments. We'll see what they're worth. And uh, come up with a value for them and post them on eBay. And there's also this peddler. And here there's also some kind of string box off oh, the entire set of Twilight and then school books and then some kind of binder school work and stuff like that good things itself is destroyed but it is what it is all right we got another one here this one here says close so I'm hoping not and it looks like it's closed So we'll go through it, see what goes on Poshmark, see what doesn't, see what we donate. Alright, next one here says utensils and Tupperware from the kitchen. I'm open it up right here. And what is with that? So this will probably be a donut box. Next, microwave. I don't even know if it's been opened. Looks like it's still in the plastic. So, definitely get that listed on Facebook. Probably uh, $80 since it's brand new. All right, next, I'm gonna grab this one here. We're at least making our way into the unit so we can actually start to look in the unit. But here we go. More teddy bears. This one here is Friggy Horse. Pikachu. This 
so more stuffies. I think when it's all said and done, we should get our money back for this unit. I felt maybe I had overpaid a little because the poppets weren't there, but there's other collectibles in here, so. All right, next box. Some kind of drying rack, and then a box basically full of picture frames. So maybe a $10 box right there. I forgot my tripod today, so I'm doing the best I can with a hand holder thingy. Next one, we're gonna go with this one. We got shoes. Converse, they're actually pretty good condition. Wow, those are nice. Pretty good condition too. Here's the other one. We got some DC. So, a few good shoes, a few not so good shoes. This one's pretty neat. black converse these are actually in really good condition so I'd say maybe a $50 box right there maybe more converse tends to go for a little more condition used is usually what they're looking for because they want to look like they've worn them for a long time so we'll see what we can list them for on eBay all right next we're gonna go with this little tiny box which has nothing in it. So we'll get it out of the way. I'm gonna go with this box right here. It says new house. Wizard of Oz. Round clothes and stuff. Little shoe. And then in here there's some kind of clothes. I'm not really sure what kind. And then we've got a lot of MMs. TV remote. Some kind of dictionary. I'm sure that'll sell. School books usually sell pretty well. No point in paying full price for something if it's still in the same curriculum. It's coming along. All right, so we're back in here. Got a tiger, a white tiger, and an alligator. I'm gonna take those to the trailer. I've seen this tiger somewhere before. I wanna say at a Disney store maybe. I'm not entirely sure, but I know I've seen it before. So I'm sure it's worth something. All right, so in here, there's two more boxes. Let me grab this one first. Journey to the Phantom's Lair figurines. It's closed. Let's open it up. That's pretty neat. So I have to look to see what that's worth. 
my guess right off the top is 50 bucks. Am I off? And then we've got one here. Looks like some kind of cookie jar. I don't really want to get it out. You can kind of see some kind of cookie jar. So I don't want to get it out because I don't want to break it. But when we get back, I'll do a recap video if possible. And we will... Uh, Try and figure out what it was and what it's worth. All right, next one we have here is this pink pale tote thingy. Ugh. Heavy as hell. Hi, this one here, heavy as hell. Let's see what's in it books so we've got special edition Star Wars somebody was into Star Wars Dorothy must got Harry Potter books J.R. Tolkien Harry Potter Dracula Captain Underpants so all kinds of different kinds of books and then there's these graphic novels, Lock and Key, Joe Hill from Lock and Key is actually Stephen King's son. So, might be worth something, but I mean overall it just looks like a whole bunch of good books that people are actually still looking for. So this bucket right here might be say $150 maybe $200 worth of books so all right continuing on some kind of little box here looks like a little uh, organizer thing we've got a little footstool um, it's pretty neat and here we've got some kind of little rocking chair and computer chair those always sell people are always looking for computer chairs got some kind of little couch looks like it needs to be cleaned but doesn't look like it's in too bad a shape we got ourselves some kind of gecko here or dinosaur not entirely sure get some additional light in here First things first, a little fish cat ashtray. That looks like some kind of a footstool thing. You get massage while your feet are under the desk. I might keep that for myself. We've got. So a lot of older collectible stuff in this unit. And then in here we've got Monsters Inc. A pipe, skull candy. And then some kind of boxes. More toys in them. Another box here. Mm, more toys on them. Alright, so another collectible box basically. Just a couple little different things, so Let's see if we can fit the gecko in here. You can take a nap until we get home.
move this out the way and put it in the truck. Coming along. All right, pull this one here out. Those bedroom cat feathers. So first, these tend to go on eBay fairly well. I tend to sell them for uh, 40, 50 bucks used. Just a cat box. I don't have a cat, so I'm not entirely sure what it's going to be for. But I'm going to take this out, just and then this. I'm going to put it to the side because again, don't have a cat. Um, here we've got office stuff. It says miscellaneous CDs, etc. Office. So I'm going to open it up. So it looks like music CDs maybe. There's the winner circle. Jewelry. More jewelry. Let's get this box out so we can actually see it. I didn't think there's gonna have this much stuff. I thought it was just office stuff, so. So, we saw the jewelry. There's this. Little knickknacks and collectibles and stuff. All right, so we're gonna keep going. They are once again heated up, so. I'm letting it cool off. I bought some new batteries and stuff for it this week, so hopefully we'll get back on it before this is over. But for right now, I'm gonna just switch over to the phone. We're gonna continue through this box. So we've got a little NASCAR collectible car. I did take all the CDs out just to save up some time. In here, there's some kind of little crate. And it looks like it's all CDs. This is, so it looks like little kids clothing. Some kind of red boxes here. Get one out. They're taped up so they don't come open, but looks like some kind of little boy's clothes or something. Maybe for a doll or something. Too little for a little kid. And then in here there's some kind of flower pot. Some magnets, a little bracelet that says Redken. And then some kind of little flower pot. So just little collectibles that to the real world, they don't cost much, they're not worth much, but whoever had this unit, they cared enough to put them in that little box, you know. And then here we've got a little box. A necklace that says Kristen. Got a blue one, the 
looks like a firefly or a dragonfly on it. Also says Kristen. Pink box. Book light. There's a little box here also. Got a little blue box inside of it with nothing in it. So. And then there's this. Let's put all this stuff back. Probably can sell the CDs. Either do a lot, or maybe a DJ who doesn't want to have like digital music, they just want to have it all local. Might be able to use that. It's coming along. Next, I'm gonna grab one of these. Oh, it's pretty light. Hello, kitty. Gizmo. It's a big old Hello Kitty, yo. Is that a frog? Ribbit. Pretty cool. So I think what I'm gonna do is. I'm gonna break this down into two trips. Trip one, we're gonna go through the boxes. Trip two, I'll come back and get all the big furniture and stuff because I'm not really gonna have room for it. But I mean, there's some really good furniture in here. It looks like it's solid wood. It's not, you know, like those are cheap, but those are nice. That one there is nice. So mattresses, you can't do very much with. So they're always gone. All right, so we got another one here. And a very eclectic mix of uh, Tupperware and paper mache stuff. So I don't think there's anything in here that we can go through, to be honest. It just looks like Basically, junk. All right, this one here is heavy, so. All right, so. Got a crown bag. Crown bag can be good, can be bad. People usually put valuables in here or they put crap in here. Empty it out. So, some kind of little plaque thing. A whole bunch of iPhone cases. A whole bunch of little animals. Paper clip. So, in this particular case, when it comes down to crown bag. Oh, crap. It's getting tired. Look at that. Look at that. Good thing we got this puppy right here. Be able to close it. Not have to worry about it. And here we've got a little pug. The dog. And then it looks like little books and stuff high school stuff a little box just random personal stuff so this one just looks like it's mostly just school stuff but there's some kind of controllers and stuff down here so let's get this box out bear with me all right so continuing on we went through that one already in here it's all basically school stuff and in here there's a box with some kind of electronics so we're gonna go into it a 
this out. So in here, the uh, GameCube, PS2, so like a switch basically, so you can go between games. The PlayStation controller, another PlayStation controller. We got more PlayStation stuff. Some Wii controllers, some cables. That's for a Wii wheel. So that right there is probably 50, 60 bucks. Open it up and it looks like clothes. No, well, it looks like pretty good clothes though. Good donation or Poshmark clothes. So see what kind of jeans. American Eagle. So yeah, there's some Decent clothes in there. I'm not a big fan of American Eagle. Lots of people like it, so you want to pay for it? I'll sell it to you. That's my stance on it. It's starting to get windy. It's coming. All right, one more pail here. This one's really heavy. Like, I might not even be able to move it by myself. It's going to be books, I'm assuming. Yep. All kinds of books. Here. Yeah. I'll go through this later. Nobody wants to look at books. And I really don't want to have to lift it either. All right, so we're back. GoPro cooled off some so we're gonna try it again this box here a bunch of hangers you know how I feel about hangers thin mint box please let there be thin mints in here nope cups of some sort different types of cups nothing interesting and then here we've got Records, oh yeah, I like records, they sell really well. We got Gigi, Cabaret, Music Man, I just sold one just like it. My Fair Lady, I also sold one like it. Funny Girl, West Side Story, South Pacific, Another My Fair Lady from Mary Poppins and Pretty in Pink. So, I like records because they sell under media mail. So, it looks like it's starting to rain, so I'm gonna move some of this stuff. All right, it just looked like a small little baby shower, so we're gonna try and wrap this up and then go from there. So, there's some more records in here. We're gonna pull them out. First one we have here is Less Than Jake, Martin Pinsa, South Pacific, West Side Story, King and I, Carmen, and Carousel, and then a Beatles and another Beatles so we'll see which one's actually the best which one brings the most we'll get those uh, identified and put on the screen for you I'm gonna take this to the truck I'll be right back yeah so I was saying that I really like records because you can sell them with media mail and the postage is less, so people will pay a little bit more for them because it doesn't cost as much to ship them. Where like some other things cost more, so always a cool thing to find. Alright, next. Four 
fragile box. It says candles and picture frames. So let's see what we find. So far I see no candles or picture frames. Just looks like books of some sort. Lots of paper. random knickknacks and stuff so nothing to write home about I'll still go through the box in detail at the warehouse and see more or less what we can find in it so we'll get that over to the trailer now all right next we've got looks like quilts some of these can go for some money just depends we'll probably get at least 20 30 bucks for them it's here Miscellaneous bed room. Some kind of little pillow. And then just little odds and ends, sheets and pillows and stuff. So nothing important. Go here. This looks like bathroom stuff. Some of these look even unopened. If they're unopened and they're sealed, you can still sell them. Alright, so CR glass, fragile, and then dolls. We got a duck, some kind of ice cream cake thing, a little doll. And then some kind of porcelain doll. Looks like maybe another porcelain doll in here. So, little odds and end box, some dolls and stuff. Might be able to get 20, 30 bucks out of that box. In Florida, does it rain? And then the sun comes out. <laughs> All right, so what do we got next? It's got a little box right here. First we've got some kind of little, the little things that you put in and then you click on it and it shows different pictures. Forget what it's called. We've got a box, a pen, nothing in this one, calculator, this tends to sell really well. melted balloons off of it but it looks like it's a Casio and then a little uh, pump pilot basically back in the day second box little odds and ends knickknacks toys Lots of little toys and little collectible thingies in this one. You know? That type of thing is really good for like garage sales. You usually set up like a bucket and it says, you know, pick one, pick five, whatever. So, got some kind of yellow. Those look like tabletops, so we're gonna leave those for right now. Um, take this, and what we'll do is we'll go through these right here and we'll see more or less what's in those get those loaded and then we will continue all right first one here we got this pink one that we're using as a table i'm gonna take the lid off so we got some kind of clothes bathing suit towels mail so just clothes Next one, looks like more clothes. We'll go through it, see what we can find in here, see if there's any kind of good clothes or 
it's just all going to be donation. The last one, this one's heavy, and we got games. Oh yeah, PlayStation 2, PlayStation GameCube, Harvest Moon. So this box right here should bring pretty penny. We Mega Man 3DS games. They are in there, so 3DS. And we found that 3DS unit in that other unit, so might be able to do some kind of bundle or something. But quite a few games in here. GameCube. Donna Mana, Super Mario, Sonic, Jack 2, Crash, Dax and Dexter. So some good games in here. There's some more games down here. And then some kind of like picture frames, picture books. So we'll go through it. We'll put a value on the entire bin. I'm gonna go video game by video game and figure out what they're each worth and we'll get them priced out and spec'd out. All right, so we got one more. I don't know how well that's gonna stay there. All right, so we got this right here. It's a whole bunch of like quilts and little things. More in here. Go through it. And it looks like more here. Somebody was doing some quilting and stuff, so. All right, so keep on. Trash can. Looks like it has something in it. Let's get it out here. Looks like legs to those bottom table things. Not entirely sure what for, but get it on the trailer. I'm gonna drink. So, just like I gave Wawa a shout out, I'm gonna give a shout out to 7 Eleven. Thank you for the Slurpees. Always hit the spot, yo. All right, next. All right, miscellaneous kitchen. Some kind of little shot glass, maybe. Tampa Bay Bucks. So it's just going to be like kitchen stuff, basically. Starting to run low on little things and starting to run on all the big items. So we're gonna need to put something there to hold it. We'll see what, we'll find something. All right, we've got this. Let's see if there's anything in it. Bottom drawer first, nothing in it. Top drawer, wheels. So this will come in really good at the warehouse. Be able to use it as a, like a printer stand or something like that. So we got one more box here. Star Wars collectibles. Got a little Dorothy, not Star Wars. A little Star Wars Shadow of the Empire. Another one. Another one. We'll see what those are worth. 
Then we have Java. Cantina Showdown. And Anakin Skywalker. There's also some kind of book in here, TV guide. And some kind of CD, Trivial Pursuit. So we'll put her back in here. Put this in there. And we'll take this out to the trailer. All right, I'm gonna move this out the way and I'm gonna take these mattresses out just so we have a little more room. So bear with me, put it right there. All right, next, dolly, never even used. Literally, it's never been used. There's the price tag on it. So let's say 45 bucks. Little by little, you make your money back, you know. All right, we got a Pirates of the Caribbean tin. And then in here we've got mini hat, princess, Green Day. A couple others. And it looks like a little Asian purse. So, random making that collecting, like everything else in this unit. There's a picture of Dorothy. Right before she got a uh, Taken away by the tornado. And then there's this. So we're gonna get that to the truck and we'll come right back. Alright, next, pull this out. Put it here. Folgers, classic roast, and it looks like tools. So, that always comes in handy. Right. We got a blue box with nothing in it. A lid. Got another box right here. More little odds and ends collectibles. A little Mustang. These are the tops to those legs. I'm not sure if they're like tables or what they are, but. All right, we're gonna take them and put them in the trailer. There goes the bed. The bed fell. It's getting windy. It's getting really windy. And there goes the rest of the bed. All right, there's also a uh, All You Need Is Love for the wall, made in the U.S. of A. Those little things, throw them on eBay, five, ten bucks, easy. All right, next box, it says office and then paperwork. Makeup sticker. Well, there's some kind of pencil. All kinds of different types of makeup. Bobby Brown. Looks unused.
literally went all unused. Some brushes and stuff, all unused. So we'll see what we can get. Maybe we can get something for it. In here also there's Vanilla Dreamy, Velvet Sugar. She must have liked that one. No polish dryer. So it's just bathroom stuff. Nothing major, but it all comes from Kristen's room. All right, next bag. Just looks like more stuffed bears or teddy bears and stuff. Just gonna break this one open and do her. Simba, Simba. All right, we'll take this and this, put it in the truck. Whew. Second battery, almost dead. All right, so we got here kitchen coaster. It says. See how true that is. Toaster for once, what they put was true. No more boxes there. We had a couple up there, those we already went through, there's not much in them. See if there's anything in these drawers. Looks like empty. So let's go through the Sally Mate trash bags. Always appreciated. I love finding trash bags. All right, so a little bag. This tray here for somebody who does hair or something like that. Probably get five, ten bucks out of that. If I don't keep it to put like odds and ends stuff. All right. So next, we got this box here. So color bright, nothing good. Some shell necklaces, pearl necklace. And then just random odds and ends stuff. Next. Just random paperwork, nothing major. Next. Some kind of family pictures. You know what we do with those. Bills. Fishing line. Those I tend to sell fairly well. They're brand new. So, took the one little thing from here. I'm probably gonna take some of these big shelves and see if I can stick them in the trailer. See if uh, maybe by some miracle, I can get everything in it. And maybe by some miracle, we can just drive out of here today. But uh, stay tuned. I'm gonna basically break through all the things. Um, this facility looks like it's falling apart. I'm not entirely sure, it's probably from the wind. But, all right, 